have all the nostalgia vibes because we are doing Guess That Early 2000s Commercial. 2000s were a time to be alive. <laughs> Here's how it'll work. I'm gonna play you a clip from the commercial. We have taken out any mention of the brand or anything that would like be a dead giveaway. We took it out. And then we'll give you four multiple choice answers of different products that it could possibly be promoting. And then you'll tell me which one you think it is. I am a millennial, so I feel like I'll be good at this. I feel bad for everyone else. I feel like I'm the oldest. I have an advantage. If I lose, then I'm the young guys. Okay, this is Gushers. This is Gushers 100%. They were always like, you eat it, your head changes. This is Gushers. Oh, um, oh my god, I do know this. Uh, Gushers. Because there used to be these old Gushers commercials where you would eat them and then they would turn into the fruits. Yo, I was so wrong with my gut instinct because at first I was like, Doritos! Because it was like really extreme, but then they had fruit on their heads. So was this commercial for A, Gushers, B, Capri Sun, C, Airheads, or D, Fruit by the Foot? Gushers. I feel like it's Gushers. Like, I remember them like biting into the Gushers and then that's what turned their head into like the watermelon. Airheads, 110%. I have to be right. It's Gushers. No, it's, <laughs> why is this stressful? It's Gushers. It could be Airheads. Crap. I'm gonna go with Gushers. <laughs> gushers, taste the best. <laughs> I do have a memory. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Airheads literally missed out on a great commercial right there. Yes! I also just got so excited I hit my shin. I got it, I was nervous. Airheads, I think their heads like explodes and expands, so there was nothing there, and I don't think they ever use fruits with airheads. Uh, I don't remember this one. Oh no, I'm sad. Happy meal, McDonald's. That's McDonald's. Can we just talk about the bop though? And I feel like I don't even need multiple choice. They talked about Happy Meals and loving it, so McDonald's. I remember the head spinning thing. I don't know the brand. Do you think it was A, Gooey Louie, a toy all about boogers, B, Burger King, C, Stink Blasters figures, or D, McDonald's? Yeah, that's Stink Blasters figures. I think C, Stink Blaster figures, because he had a toy. Uh, I heard I'm loving it, so I want to go with the McDonald's. Oh, it's Fresh McDonald's because I'm loving it. There's one in every Happy Meal. What can I say? I don't remember that. Black hole in my brain. When they said I, I'm loving it, I was like, that's weird. That's a very unique saying. But then I saw like scary toys. I was like, I don't think they did scary toys. Yes, come through McDonald's with the bop. It sounds more like 90s. <laughs> A lot of people are like, aren't you too young to invest in the markets? And A, you know, A, don't worry about it. You know, I just look young. I mean, you don't know how old I am. And B, I use it, so check it. Click. Oh! Stock. If I can do it, I know this one. You can do I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's funny. Was this a commercial for A, TD Ameritrade, B, Tums, C, E Trade, or D, Pepto-Bismol for kids. They went with the acid indigestion to kind of throw us off because he threw up. It's the E-Trade baby. I don't remember this commercial at all. I'm gonna say E-Trade because I feel like Tums would be like too obvious. I'm gonna go with E-Trade. He was talking about stocks or something, right? E-Trade, 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 E-Trade. I'm gonna go with E-Trade because I don't think they would talk about stocks at all when it comes to selling products for parents because that's just gonna be too confusing from a psychological standpoint. I'm gonna go with E-Trade, it's my final answer. It's so easy, there are a thousand new accounts a day oh. at E-Trade. <laughs> Context clues. It's so easy, there are a thousand new accounts a day at E-Trade. Yes, sir. Oh, that was one of my favorite commercials, actually. I will always talk about that baby. Like, in, in class, in school, it was like the talking baby. It was just so funny. It's so easy, there are a thousand new accounts a day Hell at yeah. E-Trade. I need that little DJ button that's like, bow, 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 bow. It's so easy. There are a thousand new accounts a day. Yes! At each rate. Yes! Oh, process of elimination. This is how I did all my tests in high school. Never knew the answer, but I knew what wasn't the answer. It's so easy. There are a thousand new accounts a day. At each rate. To the moon. If you would ask me what is the company that has the talking baby, I would have never known. But after seeing that, it triggered something in my mind. It was like, E Trade Baby. That's just how you know the advertising was good. Just how you said. Maybe 
brother Timmy lost again. When my brother wins at video games, the whole world knows Oh, wait. That feels familiar. I don't think I even remember that one. I won? I won! It was payback time. He had to do what I said. Dan? Whoever made that commercial is sick in the head. I like it. Was this commercial for A, Hollywood Video, B, Blockbuster, C, GameStop, or D, Redbox? It's not GameStop based on the inside. That inside was a Blockbuster. I'm gonna go with GameStop. Blockbuster right before it went out of business. GameStop? I think because he said video games. It could be a Blockbuster though, but I, I think GameStop. Hollywood Video was a pretty niche company. Did they have the budget for that kind of commercial? Blockbuster, more well known. There was blue in the store. Blockbuster. I don't think there was red in the store. I think there was blue. <laughs> Blockbuster. Could you buy video games at Blockbuster? <laughs> I remember thinking blue. Yeah, see, look at that. There's a lot of blue and gold. The only reason why I thought Hollywood video was because of the time, because there's blue and gold in the video throughout the whole video. It's like blue and gold, blue and gold. They're subtle, but I picked up on it. I want to like just throw the laptop. I miss Blockbuster. I miss waiting there and being like, we're going to go in, we're going to pick a movie and pick candy. People are going to miss out on, on these amazing things. Oh my god, I, I remember this. Lunchables? Lunchables, big kids meals. Why do I feel like this is a Lunchable? Like a big Lunchable? Okay, was this a commercial for A, Berry Colossal Crunch Cereal, B, Hot Pockets, C, Pizza Hut Triple Decaroni Pizza, or D, Lunchables Mega Pack? Lunchables Mega Pack, baby. You had the hot dogs, you had the pizzas, and you had the fruit. So they gave you fruit snacks or they gave you a fruit drink. I think it's Hot Pockets, but Hot Pockets don't come in hot dogs. Like the hot dog flavor is not a Hot Pocket. Oh God. I really think it's Hot Pockets. I'm gonna go with A. I think I heard him say something about a berry. <laughs> Lunchables Mega Pack, cause that kid is hungry. Lunchables Mega Pack, final answer. Wait till you sit down. Lunchables! Oh! I even said with Lunchables! Two toppings and a full size cola. But I don't remember hot dog Lunchables either. I had Lunchables multiple times as a child. Billy. Wait till you sit down. Lunchables Mega Pack. Two deep dish pizzas with a ton of toppings and a full size cola. I've never even seen those Lunchables anywhere. When did they do that? Did I skip a year? Billy. Wait till you sit down. Lunchables Mega Pack. Oh, Two I deep dish pizzas that. with a ton of toppings and a full size cola. Oh my god, that's been living in my subconscious for years. Wait till you sit down. Lunchables Mega Pack. Two yes! deep dish pizzas with a ton of toppings yes. and a full size cola. Oh, I'm crushing this. Billy. Wait till you sit down. Lunchables Mega Pack. Lunchables Mega, Mega Pack. A ton of toppings and a full size cola. Well, I knew it. I I, uh, I watched a lot of television. I did not have a social life growing up. No, I'm just kidding. I love commercials. I love commercial jingles. There's still like a lot of commercial jingles that I still know from back in the day. I'm so mad at myself. I, I should have known not to go with my instincts. I thought it would be a lot easier considering the fact that I was born in like 1999. I thought I could have, you know, hit them all. I think I knew like 50% of them I remembered and then the other 50% like I'm sure I saw it at one point but it just didn't stick with me. Well, maybe we'll need to do a sudden death. I didn't even say it right. Sudden death. I'll see you at the sudden death. Pew, pew, pew. The one thing that was hard was the, the, the trick ones. There was like curveballs. A lot of fun visiting those old commercials again. And I recognized a few of them right away. Some of them, I don't know how I knew what they were. Your memories are a crazy thing. Thanks for watching us play Guess That Commercial on replay. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Did any of these commercials bring back memories? Let us know in the comments. Bye! Thanks for playing. Hey guys, it's Sierra, replay producer. Thank you so much to all the creators who came in to shoot these episodes with us. We had so much fun. Please support them by checking out their pages. You can follow them by clicking the links down below. Bye guys.